Hey everybody, as always, I hope you're doing well out there. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking to you about adjusting the time on your Garmin Instinct watch, primarily for daylight savings time. So some of you out there don't have to deal with this. You're in countries that don't do daylight savings time or you're in a state in the United States that doesn't do daylight savings time. You're pretty lucky. This is kind of a headache for a lot of us, but it's really not a headache on the Garmin Instinct watch, depending on how you have your time setting. And that's what we're gonna to do today is we're gonna walk through that. So first and foremost, if you look, we'll see that it's November 5th. In two days, we've got to fall back uh, one hour for daylight savings time. So let's go look and see how you have your time set on your Garmin Instinct watch. I'm gonna press and hold the menu button. And then I'm gonna use the up or down button on the left hand side. I'm gonna go down to settings, press GPS to select settings. And then again, I'm gonna use the up or down button and I'm going to go to system, press GPS to select system. And then the second option in here you will see is time. I'm gonna press GPS to select time. The second option in here is set time. Now you'll notice on mine, I've got it set to auto. What auto means is the Garmin Instinct will use your GPS location and it will always set the time for you. What's nice with this feature is if you're somebody that travels a lot, if you go to a different time zone, if you go to a different country, your Garmin Instinct's time will always be accurate because it's using your GPS location. Now, some of you, for whatever reason, might not want this turned on. If you see auto, you have nothing to worry about. Your watch is going to adjust for daylight savings time automatically. You can sleep in and relax, not have to worry about setting your watch. However, if you press GPS on this option, you don't have to use auto. You can also use manual. I'm going to switch to manual, and you'll notice that when I switch to manual, now all of a sudden I've got an option down here for time. If I go down to time, you can see that the current time on my watch is 12.02 p.m., and then I can press GPS to go into that time setting and adjust it to whatever I want to. I can set the hours, I can set the minutes, I can set a.m. or p.m., and that's it. So when daylight savings rolls around, for those of you that have this feature set to manual, you are going to have to go into the time setting and you're gonna to have to manually fall back and then manually spring forward when spring rolls around. The other option, however, that you have is you can go to the very bottom where it says sync with GPS. You can press GPS and what it will do is it will connect your GPS and it will set the time for you. So that might be a little bit easier than the manual option. The only reason I would think that somebody would want to do the manual option is I guess maybe you're wanting to track how uh, accurate the Garmin Instinct is with time without using a GPS setting. I don't really know why anybody would use manual. If you've got a valid reason, I hope you'll post it in the comments and let everybody know why you use manual over automatic. I'm gonna switch mine back to automatic. So on set time, I'm going to go to auto, press GPS to select auto, and now I'm successfully ready for daylight savings time. The other thing I was going to show you that's kind of nice with the Garmin Instinct watch is if you're a hunter like me and you're needing to figure out what time do you need to adjust your deer feeders for because of daylight savings time, if you go down to the sunrise and sunset widget, press GPS, you can see that for today the sunrise is at 7.39 a.m., the sunset is at 6.33 p.m. If I go tomorrow, it's a minute off because we're one day forward. Well, when we get to seventh, when we're in the seventh, when we're in daylight savings, it will automatically adjust your sunrise and sunset time for daylight savings time. There's nothing you need to do in here other than have your time set correctly and your, uh, your location set correctly using GPS in order for the sunrise and sunset information to automatically adjust. And that's a nice feature for me because when I wanna look and adjust my deer feeder time, I can go to any day I want to in the future and know that the sunrise and sunset is gonna be accurate for that day using the correct uh, daylight savings format. Anyway, I hope the video helps. If you got your watch set to auto, no problems, no need to do anything for daylight savings. If you got it set to manual, you know how to get to that setting and adjust your watch accordingly. If you've got any questions, post them in the comments. As always, I appreciate you watching. Have a good day.